Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video for AWS Solutions Architect Associate video series that we are doing in this bucket. In this, I'm sorry, in this video, we will see the cross region replication feature of Amazon S3 bucket. And to do that, I have to log on to the console and take it from there. Okay, I'm at the console. I enter my password. Don't save. It'll take few seconds to take me through the console. Come on. Here it is. It takes me to the bucket which is not present. Either you will be on the home screen. If it does not pick the uh, cache and log into the Amazon console, if you are at the home screen, you should go for S3. Here. Okay. And if you are not, then go back. and click on recently visited services here create a bucket i'll say a uh, test author bucket dash source a reason would be mumbai click on create so that i i'm not clicking on next i'm just Clicking on create so that it will pick up the default settings. It says the bucket and objects are not public because we have not specified the options while the process of creating a bucket. Let's create one more bucket. It will be test bucket dash target. And let's take it to Canada Central. Click create. So the first bucket source I created in Mumbai, the target I created it in Sydney. Oh, Canada Central, it says not public. I go inside my source bucket, bucket is empty. I upload my file. It says successful. I see my file here. So now I am into my source bucket here. And to enable the cross region replication, I go to management. It says replication. You have not created any cross region replication rules for this bucket. Get started. Okay, so the prerequisite to enable the replication is to enable versioning. You can either go back or you can enable it from here. Now it says, do you want to? Uh, replicate the entire bucket or do you want to prefix or tags if you click on prefix or tag then you will have to mention the subfolder name here all right so let's go for entire bucket it says replicate objects no i'm not using kms here i'm just going with the default click on next destination bucket buckets in this account I have you can have the other account as well but you have should have the account ID I'll let you know the account ID when we'll cover the identity and access management feature of this Amazon domain let's say bucket in this account I have one bucket which is the target bucket which is in Canada Central it says it does not have versioning enable I enable the versioning I don't want to change anything as of now I click on next I don't want to enable any. Okay, this uh, I want to specify the IAM role as well. Only test okay, enabled. Do the name. Click on next. 
click on save cross the region replication updated successfully all right so this is how you enable the cross region replication now if you'll go to your uh, let's see if we see the content here I do not see content here okay let me refresh it and see if it comes if the the file gets replicated to the target bucket or not into the source I go to the target show I do not have it replication I've created the replication for uh, the source bucket let's check there is another rule destination is this source is this Canada Central bucket policy is a copy okay also right, it seems well uh, the uh, the the contents of the bucket are not copied directly from the source to the target bucket these are only for changed or the new objects and let's see if I am if the new object gets replicated or the change object gets replicated Alexander 1 let me go to my target bucket Yes, yeah, so it needs the CLI uh, integration. So I'll cover the 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 usage of the CLI. How you can uh, replicate from one bucket to another bucket using the command line interface. And uh, well, it was uh, the nice informative lecture for all of you to uh, know the cross region replication and the how version is is important to get enabled for the cross region application. Uh, please uh, share this video and like all the videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and uh, if you have time please join me in the next video thank you have a great day